Here at Toyota of Dartmouth and Ken, we've got the 2018 Camry, 2018 Corolla. Those who are considering one of these two vehicles might also be comparing with the other, right? And vice Absolutely. versa. So let's compare the similarities and differences between the Camry and the Corolla. Okay. As far as the similarities, the most exciting new thing that Toyota offers on all of their vehicles now is the Toyota Safety Sense. Right. Toyota Safety Sense includes things like radar cruise control, lane departure alert, pre-collision system, pedestrian detection system, um, automatic high beam. So there's a lot of safety features that uh, people are really starting to want. Absolutely. And so both vehicles offer the Toyota Safety they Sense. Do. They what do. What else between the two? Other similarities include things like leather. Uh, navigation, sunroofs, alloy wheels, fog lights. There are things that you can get in every car, every trim level, pretty much. Right. All right, so how about some differences? Obviously, the first one is size. The right. Corolla's a little smaller. It is, it is. If you're looking for great, reliable transportation, great gas mileage, comfortable, easy on the wallet, Corolla's the car you're gonna look at. Yep, lower base starting price. Exactly, if you're looking for something you know, under, under the $20,000 range, you're gonna to wanna to look at a Corolla. But it's still big enough to seat five adults Absolutely, absolutely. And again, it's, it's comfortable, it's quiet, it's, again, it has that Toyota reliability. Um, you really can't go wrong in, in any of these vehicles that you choose. Right, well let's compare the two engines because okay. obviously the Camry has a little more powerful engine. Absolutely. So they both have a four-cylinder motor. Yep. The Corolla has the 1.8 liter uh, four-cylinder whereas the Camry has a 2.5. Um, this is a CVT transmission which allows it to again get better gas mileage whereas the new 18 Camry has the eight-speed automatic uh, transmission. Right. And you can also get a V6 you in can. the camera, so if you really want yeah, the exactly. extra power. That's a distinction. So if you're looking for something with a V6, then again, you're going to have to move over to the camera. Okay. How about gas mileage? Let's compare the two. Yeah, gas mileage is fantastic. They're very, very similar. I mean, they both average in the uh, low to mid-30s for fuel economy, so you can't go wrong in either, either model. Yeah, and I think a lot of people would think the Corolla is going to do much better right. with gas mileage, but the numbers are almost identical. Right, it's identical. not really the case. The, uh, the Camry, again, redesigned for 18, because it has that eight-speed transmission, it really has uh, increased the fuel economy, so they're very, very similar. And there are some features available on the Camry, of course, that aren't available on the Corolla. Right. Things like heads-up display, which is uh, just nice. a really, yeah, it's a really cool feature. So it actually shows you on, on your window, Wind windshield, on yeah. your windshield, uh, the speed that you're traveling in. Uh, if you have your navigation going, it'll display turn-by-turn uh, -turn directions. It's, uh, you know, again, it's just another safety feature to allow you to not have to look down at a screen. Exactly. What else? Um, other things are uh, blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert. So again, when you're backing up and um, there's somebody coming from either side of you, it will actually warn you that somebody's coming. Um, it'll also warn you on your sides when you're on the highway that there's somebody on either side of you that way as well. And if you opt for the Camry, you right. get Entune 3.0. Tell Correct. us about that. That's uh, the latest and greatest generation of Toyota's radio. Uh, some of the upgraded features for that are things like Scout GPS Link with moving maps. What that gives you is um, a map that works with your um, smartphone that displays on the screen on the car and it will display turn-by-turn -turn directions for you. More excitingly, there's a new app for your smartphone where you can actually remote start the Camry right from your phone. Right from your phone. Right from your phone. That's amazing. Either way, Ken, Corolla or Camry, customers are going to get an awful lot for their money. A lot of value in these two Toyotas. Absolutely. Again, if you're looking for something under the $20,000 price point, you can't go wrong with a Corolla. Sure. It's got all the safety features, all the standard features that you'd come to enjoy. For, it's a great daily driver. Yeah. Um, but there's still a lot of upgrades. Exactly, there are a lot of upgrades that you can add. If you're looking for something a little larger, um, a little more pep perhaps in the, yeah. in the, if you need under, a V6. the under the pedal, yeah. um, you're looking for just a couple more creature comforts, then that's when you'd be looking towards the Camry. So, Best uh, recommendation, come on into Toyota of Dartmouth. Take Absolutely. them both out for a test drive. That's really what you need to do. You really need to come in, drive them both, um, and then decide for yourself which one works best for you. The rest will be easy. <laughs>